What's up, YouTube? My name is Jeans, bringing you guys part 26 for my playthrough on The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. As always, if you do enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. Also, guys, don't forget, follow me on Twitch at Jeans25 to turn on your notifications so you don't miss out on any of the live streams. So, guys, in the last episode, we actually retrieved the Thunder Helm back from the Yiga Clan and gave it back to the Gerudo Chief. So, now in this episode, we actually have to head over to that outpost over there, I believe. And we're going to start opening up the third Divine Beast. But before we even do that, we're going to head down here. Because if you guys watched the last episode, we actually ran very low on arrows. So, we're going to need some arrows. So, we're coming down to this arrow store. This is actually, like, the best arrow store in the whole game. Like, they sell every single arrow. And it's awesome to always, like, come back when the Blood Moon comes. Because they always respawn. But we're going to actually need bomb arrows too. But jeez, never mind. We're not going to need any bomb arrows. Look how much they are. Do we actually have any? So I believe we're going to need a couple. Or they, they might give us some. Oh, <laughs> look at that. If you, if you aim the arrow towards them, they start to like go crazy. She like flinched and everything. But guys, right now we're going to head over to this outpost. But to go over to that outpost, we're going to need to bring a sand seal. Because in the last episode, the chief told us to bring the sand seal. So we get to go riding again. Woo! So we gotta actually make our way over here. We're gonna hop into the sand seal little pit right here. <laughs> Look at them. Look at the boys. They're hilarious. <laughs> oh, she's sweeping over there doing her thing and all that. But this is the lady we actually rent the sand seals off of. So if we come over here, we can actually talk to her. We rent them for 20 rupees. Yeah, we know the deal. We rent one last time. All right, let's seal the deal. <laughs> We're gonna actually need more shields. I think we have one shield left. I think so. It's getting crazy. If our shield breaks, like, I don't think... I think we're done after that. <laughs> but look at this, boy. Look at this, boy. Dude, I love the sand seal so much. They just get cooking and all that. But we're gonna have to bring our sand seal all the way over to this outpost right here. And go meet the chief of Grudos, who is probably... I think she's chilling all the way at the top of there. So we're gonna bring him right here. We're gonna stop. And we're gonna make our way over here. And start climbing up this little ladder. Oh, look at the camel. Look at the boy. We gotta go calm it down and then we'll open it up. Oh, we missed a ladder. How do we miss a ladder? But yeah, we gotta calm that thing down, open it up, and then all the dust will go away. We can actually start seeing things and doing a lot more in the desert area. And look at this place. There's actually a few more shrines we gotta do, and there's a fairy fountain in this region, which is cool. But we climb our way all the way up here, and now we can talk to Chief Riju, who's gonna give us the quest to start the third divine beast. Yes, she did give us bomb arrows. I told you guys we needed them, but they're so expensive. At least she gave them to us this time. We got 20 of them. Because I believe we got to shoot his feet out. That's what she was telling us during the talk. Now we got this like cool little cutscene right here. Check it. She's actually using the Thunder Helm to create a protective like aurora around her. So no lightning can hit us because the Divine Beast right here shoots lightning and everything. But look how cool that is. Look at that. It's a lightning shield. That's what the Thunder Helm does. It gives you protection from lightning. So eventually you can get it in the game by doing like a bunch of side quests. And then if you get struck by lightning, you take no damage, which is awesome. It's actually like a pretty cool piece of armor. All right, now we can actually hop on our sand shield and get moving and start opening up the third divine beast. Let's get it. Let's do this. Let's get it. Let's go. Oh, the air is very hot right now. Do we have to switch armor? No, we have our armor on for heat. This is crazy. But we actually have to stay inside this little... She's so slow. But we have to stay inside this little Aurora when we get closer to the Divine Beast. Because he will actually start shooting lightning at us. And this can protect us. But she is just so slow. She's kind of annoying to like float around. She went faster to be better. Look at us. We're in the dust storm. And there's a shrine nearby. Let's go do it. No, it's like... <laughs> Oh my god, you can't see anything. We're actually gonna switch our armor out in case we get hit by lightning. So we can actually take more hits. Let's go do our good stuff. Our goodies. Right here, let's get it. Let's do this, baby. Come on, where's the where's the divine beast? We want him. Here we are, guys. We made it to the divine beast. Look at this. He has a giant purple ball of lightning and it's aiming on me. So I gotta stay inside this thing right here while it shoots at me. Look at this thing. Yeet. Now you can see his feet are glowing. Purple. So we're actually going to have to bring out our bow and switch to our bomb arrows. And we're going to, when we get close enough, we're going to have to take out his feet. This is, this is actually one of the cooler boss fights. Oh, are you kidding me? He's aiming lightning. What you want, fool? No! Get in the thing! Yes, we're here. Now I guess, gotta hope to not run out of bomb arrows. 
Get him. Get him. Light him up. I keep missing. There we go. There's one. One foot done. Hopefully we don't run out of arrows here. One shot. No, we missed that one. Come on, we gotta get closer. Keep moving forward. He's shooting lightning or something. He's doing something again. We'll stay in here. Come on, hit him. Did we get him? No. Come on. Stay inside the circle, jeez. We got this. Here we go. We're gonna dash up. Get, get a little bit closer here. Start shooting arrows. We can't hit him right now. There we go. Now we're close enough. Plenty close enough. All right, we gotta get inside. Get inside the roar! No, turn! All right, we're in. We're in. We're in. No! All right, we're good. We're good. This is one of the cooler Divine Beast challenges. So after he shoots his lightning, that's when you want to get up close and personal. Start dealing your damage. Yeah, come on, hit it. There we go. We just have one more foot left, and I think we have six arrows left. How many do we have? We have five left, so we gotta just hit two of these shots. Up. Oh, nope, we missed. <laughs> so we gotta hit two of the four. Come on, let's go. Let's cook up here. Get his feet out. One shot. One more. Let's see if we can eat it. Nope, hit the edge. What we gotta hit this last shot? We got it. We got it. Yee, baby. And there we go. That is the Divine Beast mission. That is awesome. I think that's my favorite one. I forget the air one. The air one's... No, the air one's cool, too. I don't know. I can't decide. But there we go. We finally calmed the Divine Beast. Now it can stop doing its little dust storm and everything. And we actually open it up. And we can be able to start it, actually. Look at him falling down. The camel. Yeet. <laughs> Sunk him in the sand. <laughs> Could you imagine if we would have ran out of bomber? I was over... I would have been like, what? <laughs> like, what do we do after that? Unfortunately, I cannot appease Naboris on my own. I have no choice but to entrust the rest to you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're in charge now. Let's get it. Let's get it. Get a link, dude. Look at the boy. Climbing up there all on his own. It's going crazy. Don't let us down. Look at this, guys. On to our third divine beast. The camel. I forget his name. It's Naboris. Va Naboris, I think. But we're on the camel, and we can do this whenever we're ready. You sure do know how to keep a woman waiting. I can't wait to see you take Naboris back from Ganon. One thing at a time. You'll need a map to find your way around. Yeah, we do this. We go through this every single Divine Beast we do. <laughs> All the Divine Beasts are similar. You just gotta find the Guardian Stones, and then just, like, Go to the main control unit and then fight the boss. It's pretty simple. <laughs> they just all have like a different mechanic to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So guys, now that we have finally opened up the third Divine Beast, Naboris, we're actually not going to be doing it. <laughs> it's actually going to take us a little bit too long, so I think we should wait till next episode so we can do it in a whole episode. So, for the remainder of this episode, we're just going to go do a side quest and maybe do a shrine or something. So we're going to head back to the town and figure it out. Now that we've made it back to the town, we actually want to head over towards, I think it's that way? Let me mark it on my map. We want to go over here because I believe there's a shrine quest over here. So we're going to get traveling over there on foot. No need for sand seal. It's not too far. So we're going to make our way over there and start doing this shrine. We finally made it after it was actually a long journey on foot. We actually probably should have just rented a sand seal. But we are at the East Gerudo ruins. And look at these statue pillars, whatever you want to call them. They're just glorious. And there's actually all these different metal balls right here. And we have to put the metal balls with the right statue. They all have symbols on them if you walk up to them. You guys will see in a second. But once we put them all there, a shrine will actually pop up. So let's go check out this. Oh, wait. We got spicy hot peppers and stuff. But let's go check out the symbol on this one. Oh, warm salfina. <laughs> we never got that before. Let's go check out this sign right here. So we can figure out which ball we got to put on there. We hop up here. We got this little, like, water kind of droplet symbol. So we got to find that one. And then put the ball in the corresponding little statue. So we got to find that same little logo. Was it this one? 
No, it wasn't that one. It wasn't that one. I think it's this one right over here. But it stinks. We walk so slow in the sand. It's terrible. It's just awful. Alright, let's grab it. It is this one right here, I believe. Can we pick it up? Or are these metal? They are metal. So this is the one that we need. It goes all the way over here. How many are there in total? I think there's six in total. Maybe seven. We're going to put this one all the way over here. Drop it right here. There we go. That one goes there. I'm going to pick this one up and start looking for this one. And we need... What is it? This one's kind of like a flame. Why do they make the flame blue but the water droplet looking thing? Why do they make that red? I'm confused. Okay, that one looks like a pause sign with like two little bars. So this one isn't it. Let's go check out this one over here. Come on, which one is it, man? So guys, I actually made things 10 times easier for me. I actually laid out all the balls in the correct spots by figuring out the signs and finding them out. The signs are all located on different parts of them. So like, as you can see, this one's on like the bottom. Some of them are on top of them. So you gotta get climbing. This one's right here and all that. And actually one of these balls was located at the top of this one, right all the way up there. So there's that sign too. So you just gotta look around for the signs and all that and find the balls and everything. So we actually already put this first one in. Now that we already have them lined up, we're gonna pick them up with our magnesis. And just start dropping them in easy enough now it's actually a really cool puzzle solving one in my opinion because you got to find the balls and find the corresponding signs on them but once you figure it out you just put these balls in there and the shrine will pop up right in the middle which is awesome there we go how many more we got two more left to put in there let's get it Yeet. whip that thing over there drop that in there let's go here's the last one we can put it in and hopefully i did this right let's see yes i did Look at that. Here we go, guys. All the balls put in the right spot. The ground starts to shake and all that. Look at it. We unlocked another shrine. Let's go. I believe with this spirit orb, it'll actually give us three, I think. And then we'll need one more to get the another stamina vessel. Because that's what we're focusing on the upgrade now. Which is nice. This might be a blessing shrine. Considering it took us a good amount of time to do the shrine quest. But let's hop in here and check it out. Like I said, guys, it is a blessing shrine, which is awesome. So we can actually just walk up in here, grab ourselves this chest right here. Check it out. Let's see what we got. A flame spear. That's pretty cool. Oh, our inventory is full. We got to drop something. We got like a torch or something we could drop. Yeah, dude, get out of here, torch. We're going to drop you and pick up this flame spear. It's so much cool. Look at it. Thing looks sick. It's awesome. But there we go. We can finish up this shrine and now grab the spirit orb. Now that we have finished up this shrine, we're actually going to end the episode off here. So if you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to smash that like button for me and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. As in the next episode, we're going to be traveling all the way back to the Divine Beast Von Naboris and completing him and getting the secret power. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.